her hand on her For me. Mm -hmm. It is a common thing to have a oh, foolish wife. And is that all? And um, what will you give me for that same handkerchief? What handkerchief? <laughs> what handkerchief? Why, that the moor first gave to Desdemona, that which so often you did bid me to steal? Has stolen it from her. No, in faith. She let it drop by negligence, and, well, I, to the advantage, being there, took it up. Look, here it is. Good wench. Mm -hmm. Give it me. No, well, what will you do with it that you have been so earnest to have me built? Why, what is that to you? Well, if it be not for some purpose of an horse, give it back. Poor lady, she shall run mad when she thinks she hath left it. Oh. Be not have known on it. I have use for it. Go. Leave me. Aye, Desdemona. Will you come to bed, my lord? Or do you 
pray tonight, Desdemona? Aye, my lord. If you bethink yourself of any crime, unreconciled as yet by heaven and grace, solicit for it straight. Oh, heck, my lord, what do you mean by that? Well, do it. To be brief. I will walk on. I will not kill thy unprepared spirit. No heaven forbid. I will not kill thy soul. Talk you of killing. Aye, I, I do. Then heaven have mercy on me. Amen. With all my heart. If you say, I hope you will not kill me. Oh, oh. And yet I fear you. You're fatal then when your eyes roll so. Why I should fear I know not. Since guiltiness I know not. But yet I feel I fear. Speak. My sins. Be our loves I bear to you. I and for that. Thou diest. That's unnatural that kills for loving. Well, that's why not you so you never live. Some bloody passion shakes your very brain, these importance, but yet I hope, I hope they do not point on me. Peace. Be still. That handkerchief. Well, I so loved and gave thee. Thou givest the castle. No, by my life and soul. Send for the man and ask him. Sweet soul, take heed. Take heed of perjury, thou art on thy deathbed. I, but not yet to die. Yes, presently. Therefore, confess thee freely of thy sins. For to deny each article with oath cannot remove nor choke the strong conception that I do groan with all thou art to die. Oh, heaven have mercy on me. And I say amen. And have your mercy too. I never did offend you in my life. Never loved Cassio, but with such a warranty of heaven as I might love. <laughs> I never gave him token. By heaven, I saw the, my handkerchief in his hand. Oh, perjured woman. Thou dost stone my heart and make me call what I intend to do a murder, which I thought a sacrifice. I saw the handkerchief. He found it then. I never gave it him. Send for him hither. Let him confess a truth. He has confessed. What, my lord? That he has used thee. How? Unlawfully. Aye. He will not say so. No. His mouth is stopped. Honest Iago has taken order for it. Oh, my fear interprets. <laughs> What if he's dead? At all, his hair has been lodged. My great revenge had stomach for them all. Alas, he is betrayed, and I am done. Out, strumpet! Grievest thou for him to my face? Oh, banish me, my lord, but kill me not. Down, strumpet! Kill me tomorrow, let me Nay, if night. you strive. But half an hour. Being done, there is no pause. Well, I say one prayer. It is too late. <laughs> Else he'll lost me not. What ho! My horse! I hear you, my lord. What sayest thou, my lady? What is it carries you away? Why, my horse, my love, my horse. Ah, to you, mad headed ape. Eh? A weasel has not such a deal of spleen as you are told to it. In faith, I'll know your business, Harry, that I will. I fear my brother won't be hurt. Don't fear about his title and has said for you to win his enterprise. If you go. So far afoot I shall be weary, love. Come, come, you Caraquito. Answer me directly unto this question that I ask. In faith, I'll break that little finger, uh -oh. Harry, and if the will not tell me all things true. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. You trifler. Love. I love thee not. I care not for thee, Kate. This is no world to play with mammoths and to tilt with lips. We must have bloody noses 
and cracked crowns and passed them current too. God's me, my horse. My father named me Autolycus. Who being as I am, snap up the hunting silly trifles. Likewise. A prize. A prize. Can you see what am I to get for our sheep shearing? I must have sat for you to color the warm poppies, May's dates. No, that's not in my note. Uh, nutmeg, seven, and a brush of little ginger, but that I think big. Four pounds of prunes. <laughs> and as many raisins of the sky. Help me, help me pluck one off these rags and then death, death. Alas, poor soul, thou hast needed more rags to lay on thee rather than have these off. The loathsomeness of them offends me more than the strikes I have received, which are many and mighty ones. Alas, poor man, a million of these makes up to a great battle. I am robbed with sir and beaten in my Money and apparel taken from me and these detestable things put upon me. What, my horseman or a footman? A footman, good sir, a footman. Indeed, you should be a footman. <laughs> the carman see it like that me. If this be a horseman's coat, it has seen very hot service. <laughs> Let me down here, and I'll help thee. Let me No, down. sir, tenderly. Oh, 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 softly, good sir. Oh, softly, oh, good sir. Oh, oh, my oh, God. Oh, 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 softly, oh, good sir. Oh, good sir. Oh, 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 sir. You have done me a charitable office. Just like any body. No, good sir. I beseech you. I have a gentleman not past three quarters of a mile hence. Unto whom I was going, I shall there have money or anything else I want. Oh. Offer me no money, I pray you, that kills my heart. What man of the you are. Fellow, sir, uh, some call autolicus. And upon him, great for my life. <laughs> he holds weight, fears, and bear big. <laughs> What sayest thou, Kate? What wouldst thou have with me? Do you not doff me? Do you not, indeed? <laughs> well, do not then. For since you love me not, I will not love myself. Do you not love me? Nay, nay! Tell me if you speak in jest or no. Come, wilt thou see me ride? And when I am a horseback, I will swear I love thee. Infinitely. But hark you, Kate, I must not have you henceforth question me, whither I go, nor reason whereabout. Whither I must, I must, and to conclude, this evening must I leave you, gentle Kate. I, I know you wise, but yet no farther wise than Harry Percy's wife. Constant you are. But yet a woman, and for secrecy, no lady closer, for I well believe thou wilt not utter what thou dost not know. So far will I trust thee, gentle Kate. How so far? Not an inch further! But hark you, Kate. Whither I go, thither shall you go too. Today shall I set forth, tomorrow you. Will this content you, Kate? It must. Force. The wind and crack your cheeks rage blow. The wind and crack your cheeks rage blow. Drowned 
drowned cocks. What? Have I escaped love letters in the holiday time of my beauty, and am I now a subject for them? Let me see. You are not young. No more am I. Go to then, there's more sympathy. You love sack, and so do I. <laughs> Would you desire better sympathy? Let it suffice thee, Mistress Page, that I love thee. I will not say pity me, tis not a soldier-like phrase, but I say love me. John Falstaff. <laughs> How shall I be revenged on him? For revenged I will be as sure as his guts are made of pudding. <laughs> oh, Mr. Page, trust me, I was going to your house. And trust me, I was coming to you. <laughs> you look very ill. Nay, nay, I'll never believe that. I have to show to the contrary. Faith, but you do in my mind. Well, I do then. Yet I say I could show you to the contrary. <laughs> What's the matter, woman? If I had for my trifling respect, I could come to such an honor. To hang the trifle, take the honor, what is it? The sense of trifles, what is it? If I could go to hell, but for an eternal moment or so, I could be knighted. What? <laughs> thou liest. Sir Alice Ford, these knights will hack, so thou shouldst not alter the article of thy gentry. Here. Read, read, and perceive how I might be knighted. I shall think the worst of fat men as long as I have an eye to make difference of men's likings. Yet he would not swear. Praise woman's modesty and gave such orderly, well mannered reproof of all unkindliness. I would have sworn his disposition would have come unto the truth of his words. But they no longer come together and adhere than the 100 sound to the tune of Greensleeves. What tempest I trove through this well with so many tons of oil assure at Windsor? How should I be revenged on them? I know the best way is to entertain him with hope. <laughs> oh, to the wicked fire of lust melted in his own grease. Did you ever hear the like? Rumble, I believe, fools, 